It's so good. It's my hair. Aww. This is it of my faces, of all eight of my faces. Absolutely flawless until I take my makeup off. And in photography. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube. And today's video is a new update on my top six favorite foundations for extremely dry skin. We're going from light to full coverage. I have six of them, so two in each category, and I am swatching them on my face. One side, one foundation, one side, the other foundation, so you can see the exact differences. These are my top six that I reach for for different types of coverages and different types of finishes. If you have extremely dry skin that is irritable, breakout prone, you often have dry patches, you really don't want enhanced, You, I believe that you will really enjoy these foundations. All six of them do not need help. They don't need primers. They don't need makeup setting sprays. So the money you're paying for them, you're getting your dollar's worth. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to help these guys in application or in wear time. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. In the light coverage category, the first foundation, this is, I have to highlight it because it has been just insane since I bought it. Okay. Like it's so good. It is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. Really quick, I have a full review of this foundation. I will have them linked below where the foundation is listed in the info box. So I do have a full review and wear test on this. This foundation, the Laura Mercier Real Flawless, is probably, now that I've used it for a good month or so, I feel like it is my favorite foundation from the brand. Before it was Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Foundation, has a little bit more coverage than this, but it is a lot heavier feeling on the face. It does give you an incredible kind of finish, but the Laura Mercier Real Flawless is completely weightless on the skin. It does not enhance fine lines, dryness, the wear time is incredible. And by the way, when I do test foundations, I do not powder them down and I rarely powder my entire face because I have dry skin anyway. So these foundations that I'm about to mention and including the Laura Mercier Real Flawless last without powdering down. This really does look and feel feel like skin. It is probably, if I had to compare it to another foundation that I actually featured in my original video, wow, so much has changed since I first filmed that video. And wow, it's gotten a lot of views and wow, it is super helpful. I have aged a little, some crazy life changes have happened, but one thing that has stayed the same is my hair. Aww. Not that I asked for it this time, but anyway, we have short hair again. What are the odds now that we can do this video again? So moving on. Anyway, I love this foundation. I think that if you have dry, sensitive, breakout prone skin with dry patches and things like that that you don't want enhanced, I think you'll really enjoy this. I also have enlarged pores on my cheeks, so it doesn't enhance. It doesn't necessarily blur, but it doesn't enhance. That's all I can ask for, as well as it doesn't sink inside the pores, and you're seeing the coverage now. It is a nice, light coverage. This can be built up to a medium coverage. That's one thing that I really love about it is when my skin's doing really great, I can wear it at its lightest amount of coverage and then when I need a little bit more built up, it doesn't get cakey and it looks absolutely beautiful built up. Next in the light coverage category is a foundation that can also be built up to medium coverage. That is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. Oh, and by the way, I meant to mention, this is the shade 1N06. This used to be Y218. And then the Laura Mercier Real Flawless that I'm swatching for you today is 2W1. And that is my skin, that's my shade when I am a little bit self-tanned and I do have a little bit of gradual tanner on. But anyway, so this is the old Y218. Again, the new shade name is 1N06, but they, I feel like Makeup Forever really perfected the HD Skin Foundation, finally. Okay, so we've had several other reformulations of this foundation, but this is it. I love the way this looks on my skin. It lasts incredible. It looks like skin on the skin. I would say this has a touch more coverage than the Laura Mercier Real Flawless and also has a little bit more weight to it, but you don't feel it on the skin. Again, this can be built up to medium coverage. And by the way, every time I am swatching the foundations on my face, I'm using a half a pump on the side of the face. So imagine a full pump is your entire face. I'm only using half to swatch the sides of my faces, of my face. 
faces, of all eight of my faces, of my face so you can see the coverage with a decent amount, an appropriate amount of product on it. But again, Makeup Forever HD Skin, the new, brand new, I hope they stick with this formula because it's so good. It, get, it just makes you look like you have really healthy, hydrated and happy skin and it doesn't enhance problem areas when you do have problem areas. Moving on to the medium coverage category, the lighter of the two medium coverages. So I'm going from lightest to fullest, even in the own category. This foundation, oh my gosh. I just tried this just two years ago, two and a half years ago. It is the Giorgio Armani. I get so excited that I forget to like make sure that it's focused on the product. It is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This foundation is one that I can rely on during like really important special events that I need my face to just look absolutely flawless until I take my makeup off. Whether it's 16 or 18 hours later, if I need a foundation to last and make me look beautiful in photos for events and photography, I always reach for Armani Luminous Silk. It has a nice kind of satin finish. I, I'm not, I still don't understand why Luminous is in the name because it's not a luminous finish. The Laura Mercier Real Flawless and the Makeup Forever HD Skin lean more luminous. If you're looking for a satin medium coverage foundation, I highly recommend the Armani luminous silk a little goes a long way this can be built up to a full coverage foundation if you use another pump or another half a pump you can really build up the coverage beautifully today I am swatching the shade four for you this is what it looks like on my face I really <laughs> this foundation will go down in my holy grail of foundations forever I feel because if my skin is in its worst condition or best condition this brings up the worst condition to the best you know what I mean so if you haven't tried our Armani Luminous Silk. It was one of those that I just had like on the back burner for a really long time. And then immediately when I tried it, I was like, this is what people see in this foundation. It is absolutely beautiful in real life and in photography. The next foundation is one that's a little controversial because of things been, that's been going on, but I had to pull it because I truly love this foundation. It is the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. It has SPF 25 in it. The shade I'm swatching for you today is Neutral 200 light medium neutral 200. This does have that Kosas rose scent. It fades. However, when you're applying it, it is very, very strong. So if you are, you know, like a scent, it's the natural stuff that's in here, okay? It's not like synthetic fragrance that you're smelling like, oh, <clears throat> it smells like you just like took your face and smashed it in a bunch of roses and you're like, God, I gotta get out of here. That's how it smells when you huh? first apply it. That sounds terrible. Terrible. I personally love the scent of roses. I either like to smell like an old lady or an old man that's been sitting by a fire too long. What? You know, if that's not your thing, it will probably, the scent will probably upset you, but it does dissipate over time. You don't smell it on your face all day. The thing that I love about this foundation though is when you apply it, your face looks incredibly luminous. You're like, wow, this coverage is beautiful, this medium coverage, and this can be built up, but I would say build it up very, very slightly as you go because it can be built up too much and end up looking a little bit cakey. It also lasts. It's one of those foundations that you would not think would last, but I brought this with me to New Orleans. Oh, well, I ran out of space in my card and I didn't realize it and how rude, but what I was saying is, oh God. The Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. It smells like roses, it dissipates. Hopefully, hopefully, I got all that. I don't know when that stopped recording. But what I was saying about this is it's, it gives you a beautiful luminous coverage and it can be built up. You gotta be careful building it up too much because it can tend to look cakey if you build up too much. But what's so wonderful about this is this is a product that you wouldn't think, oh, this is gonna last me all day. Well, I brought this with me on my New Orleans trip last year in the dead of the heat of September, okay? It was hot, it was rainy. This lasted through all of it and I was like, Wow, I just, I snagged this because it was my skin tone at the time and I was like, I like the finish of it. Hopefully it lasts, we'll see, you know what I mean? And it lasted through a lot, heat, rain, humidity, dinner, you know what I mean? It's surprising, but if you can get past that first initial rose scent, I think that you would really enjoy this foundation. And it, like I said, it does dissipate, but it gives you such beautiful, like true medium coverage. It doesn't sink in the pores, doesn't crease, doesn't need to be powdered down, even in, in New Orleans heat. 
wild. Last category, full coverage. Okay, so my choices basically on all of these foundations have changed because again, like I said, I've gotten a little bit older, moved to a different type of climate. Again, the hair's still short, but the full coverage foundations, if you are, have dry skin and you are going through a skin issue or you just prefer full coverage, it's hard to find full coverage foundations that don't cling to all of your problem areas. But that doesn't mean that you don't deserve full coverage. Well, I have two foundations that are just oh, beautiful with full coverage. The first one is Hourglass Ambient soft glow foundation. This foundation, I think it's marketed as medium coverage. And when I first tried it and I have a full review again, linked below, I was like, oh, this is, the, well, I applied too much, you know, but it's full coverage. I would say this is like hands down and you're seeing me apply it in the, uh, you know, the layovers here, but it does, it like, it covers so much that it almost looks like you don't need any type of concealer. So that's one thing I love about this. The other thing I love about this is it leans more to like a, like a matte, matte finish, honestly. So if you're looking for like a satin to matte full coverage, I would definitely go with the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. It almost looks like your skin is airbrushed. It gives that really nice, soft focus type of look to the skin. And I feel like it does kind of blur imperfections without feeling dry. This doesn't feel heavy on the skin. I really, really love this foundation. The shade that I'm swatching for you today is Ambient 5. I would say this is right, it's like a really good in-between winter and summer shade for me. And normally when I have no tan whatsoever, I am a NC15. So if you have not tried the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow, first of all, I don't think that it's glowy at all. Again, I think it's more satin to matte. So I don't, I, you know, don't think that you're getting a foundation that's gonna look super glowy on you. If you're looking for something that just gives you full co coverage, soft focus skin, blurs imperfections, but doesn't pick up on dryness, Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow. All right, this foundation is new. It was launched last year and I have not been able to put it down, but I put it down recently because I started using some gradual tanner and I don't have my summer shade. This is the YSL new reformulated all hours foundation. Now, one of you told me that you said that they just kept the name and it's a totally different foundation, which I think that's kind of how reformulations go. If a brand knows that a name and a product worked well for them, they're not gonna just launch a new foundation in you know lieu of something that they're just gonna take off the market. Like Makeup Forever HD Skin has been reformulated over and over. It is a totally different foundation at this point. So I think that's where this is going because all hours used to be kind of drying. It really made the skin look beautiful, looked beautiful in photographs, but just not comfortable on the skin. The new formulation or brand new foundation that they kept the name all hours really, really gives you a nice, healthy finish to the skin. It does say matte finish, I feel like it's definitely more, it could go matte if you completely powdered it. To me, it gives me a nice satin glow to the face, but it is very full coverage. The shade that I'm swatching for you today is LW7, which is my complete like untanned shade. I love this foundation, it has SPF 30 in it. It's comfortable all day, it lasts, it doesn't transfer to my clothes. And now that I'm saying this, I'm like totally selling myself on getting my summer shade. I actually purchased my summer shade, just kind of blind and it was too dark, so I returned it. So I need to like figure out what my best summer shade is. So anyway, great foundation for those of you who want full coverage with a little bit of oomph to the skin and something that doesn't transfer and lasts all day. I love both of these, you know, but I definitely reach for the YSL All Hours more because this gives me more of a satin to matte finish. And I just naturally am more inclined to go for a little bit glowier of a look because I have really dry skin. All right, I have a little bit of an honorable mention really quick. I'm loving this foundation. It says it's a foundation, but it also says it's a skin tint. I'm gonna do a totally different video on skin tints and probably also include this. This is the new Tarte Marajuka Juicy Glow. It's what I have on my face today because I was filming some other things. I have a full review if you would like to see that. I'll link it below as well. It's what I have on today. It is lighter coverage. I would have categorized this in the light coverage category because it does wear more like a skin tint, but girl, it says foundation right there. So that's a little confusing, but definitely an honorable mention. The shade that I have on and that I purchased is 16 in Fair Light Neutral. So I'll have this link below as well, but it gives you a really, really glowy effect and pretty like sheer to light coverage. So I'm loving this, it's new, and I just wanted to let you know it's pretty good. So if you're interested, I don't like the purple, I don't like that, but and I haven't tried anything from Tarte in years. So I thought I would review this and 
it's a winner. So those are my top six foundations from light to full coverage that I love and that I've been reaching for over and over in the past year that work really well with my 34 year old dry skin. So let me know in the comments what your favorites for dry skin or if you're an oily skin person, leave that in the comments below as well. The comments really help everyone out. I love reading comments when I go to watch a video about certain you know types of products for certain types of skin because I end up finding a lot of information in the comments. So if you guys could be, you know, keep, keep the conversation in the comments. It helps so many people and me as well. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. It helps me out a lot. It helps you out a lot as well because you actually see my videos in your feed. That's how the algorithm works. You know, a lot of people just forget that other people exist and it's just because they don't engage with their content. So as long as you're engaging with the people that you love and watch, you're going to see their content pop up. And if you haven't already subscribe, I would love to have you over here in this healthy, just very nice non-drama based community that we have built here. So subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I will also link my old video below because the younger me also really still loves those foundations I talked about. Okay, goodbye.